Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. It is Archicore time. We have the uh, Battle Oven, which is a very uh, amusing, unusual name. A sort of tank, bulldozer, bulldozer tank with gun arms, is what it looks like. Uh, 135 scale Archicore stuff. If you've not seen it before, it is fantastic. Some of the best engineered toys you will see. There's obviously artwork there. We can see. A look at the toy on the side there and the driver inside and we see some more looks on the back uh, this box is far bigger than I thought it would be I'm half hoping there's two inside but the content seem to suggest that there's only one but I guess we'll look and have a see so let me have a quick unboxing on camera a quick look on camera oh there we go No, it is one, and it's a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. We, but you could almost fit two if you do like it upside down, but we can see sort of there and the wow, massive gun arms on the side there. Okay, I'm going to set this up, sort it out, and we'll have a come back and take a look. If you like this sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon, link in the top right of the screen now. You can cancel any time, so is it worth doing just for a month because there is content you see early there's prize draws raffles blah 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 and also exclusive stuff as well okay i'll be back in instant and let's get into this here we go it is a little bit bigger than i thought um i like it and it's got some nice features that have been well thought out but then i'm not really surprised about that because it's archicore and their stuff is particularly well thought out and incredibly well engineered so we come with this artwork we saw, which also has an itinerary of what comes inside. Itinerary? Inventory? Inventory, sorry. And it gives you uh, info and it tells you why it's called the Battle Oven, which is quite a good, cool little story. So you can pause that and read that if you want to. And then we have our soldier. Nothing new, but the colour scheme is new and he's got some new sort of transfers. It looks like on his... Uh, on his chest place, uh, pieces does look pretty cool and this gun I think is new I don't think I remember seeing this one from Archicore before that does need a splash of paint to make it look really good and these Archicore guns if you paint them up they look fantastic with your 118 scale action figures he also comes with two connector pegs and he comes with the usual assortment seems to be maybe a few less but the assortment of hands we get of Archicore, and you see he's got uh, three pairs, six extra hands there too. Comes with two different flags. With some unknown language to me. And then the actual bat baton, battle oven itself here. I've got a little light on top, looks look pretty cool. We'll look at the features of this in a moment. Uh, the paintwork on the edge of the uh, flame of this here is amazing. That's sort of weathered, but then nothing on the rest. You sort of do that yourself, which is a bit of a shame. And then around the back, other side and underneath. And yes, the treads do work. Archicore, you expect that. So let's look at some of the features here. So yes, the arms do bend the, the bicep. They do turn. They do twist out like that as well they don't have a lateral raise though but you shouldn't need a lateral raise on this um what else the little opening comes up and check out this for a nice little feature the seat slides out so you can sit the figure in also the handles can be moved sit him in put the handles back around he can hold on push him back in close and he's ready to go and you see you've got all these holes on top for pegs so even these little flags which come with stands you can take off the stand take both of them off and then you can you know just fly your banners as you go into combat they've got a nice hole which it will fit into at the bottom in fact use the top one would probably make more sense it's got holes where you can plug everything into so there's one flying there that's not really straight there we go straight and then the other one i can put on the other side which kind of make it a bit of a bit of a target where is he there he is we can see him now sort of thing but it's a nice feature 
and this is a nice very nice looking toy is it worth the money i'm going to say if you've got the money it's good to buy but it's not i wouldn't say it's worth it because it's quite a lot this is like over 40 quid and it's not a big toy it's, it's well thought out it's nice features if you're into doing tabletop gaming and making your own rules, then Archie Call is the way to go because they've got such fantastic stuff shown and coming out. I feel a bit disappointed there's not more paint apps on the plastic kit and that this actually does nothing on the front. Like there's no articulation on the front I can see to pull out. You know, and I wish there was a, a lateral, some lateral articulation on the arms too. But that being said, it does look good and you've got a small little platform around the back with figures and sort of stand on a hold into the handles here let me try putting him in uh, these hands should be okay to do that with let me get him in a pre pose him first so he wants to be sort of that position there now these fingers are quite stiff on these little figures they're great hands you know but they might be a little bit difficult to sit him in and the articulation of these is awesome uh, in fact, if you look now, he's pretty much in a prop beyond a 90 degree sitting position. These are some of the best articulated figures on the market, and you consider their size is so tiny and the bulk of their armour. It is a wonder of toy engineering. So let's uh, pick up this. Let's pull this forward, let's click that in place, put the hands out. He is sitting in. Um, I'm not. Don't go in yet. I don't think I will push the hand. Make him hold the handles for this. I just turn them back around to save time. But you know what? I'm here. Let's just 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 do it. Bit difficult to fit it in at this ang <coughs> angle. Perhaps I was just there. I'm gonna pause this. I'll set put him in. I'll come back in an instant. And here he is, he's inside his hard handles. We'll do a bit of a closer zoom in. So if I pick this up, if I bring him forwards, you can see that he is sitting in nicely and he is holding the handles as well. Looking very, very comfortable in his uh, battle oven. Boom. It just feels like a little bit of a waste of space having nothing really on the front here. But it is very, very cool, I have to say. Heavy flame for us. And I love the fact that the tracks do move around. A bit stiff, you can't freewheel it, it's just no, it's too much resistance for that but the fact that you can move it is fantastic now i will say be a bit careful rotating the arm around outwards and inwards because it's actually quite stiff on the actual joint which is not a bad thing but you just get you get a sensation that if i keep doing it the joint at the top the shoulder joint here might loosen up now if you've not seen archicle before as i said before it is 135 scale so these figures are tiny so if I get a figure I reviewed recently, this is, um, oh, which one's this one again? Is it Omen Knight or Knight? I can't remember his name was. New Fortnite Master Grade one. He's 118 scale. You can see that's a rather large difference between him and his 135 scale battle oven stroke bulldozer tank, whatever you want to call it. So it's not really for your 118 scale figures. Having said that, I did say that the guns are compatible with 118. So if I get this gun, which is the 135 scale Archicore gun, the handle itself is a great size of 118. Look at the size of that gun. That is a fantastic size gun for 118 scale as well. And it has a drilled barrel, as you can see. A drilled barrel, even, as you can see. So they are great stuff. Particularly you can find some of the stuff loose, the bits to pick up, which you can here in China, which is fantastic. So this is the... Archicore Battle Oven, 135 scale. I like it. I would stick it on a recommended list if you've got the money, but if you're sort of a bit more choosy about your toys or you've got to be picky because of finances, I don't want to say don't get it because it's got a lot of options. It's got, there's a lot of fun to it. 
but I'd say a three pack of troopers market call would be a better bet. However, you want a vehicle, then this is very, very cool indeed. Okay, please check out the uh, Patreon, as I, as I mentioned earlier. It's also in the video description. You can also find discount codes in the video description for various different toy sellers uh, who usually have free international shipping, so it's worth doing that as well. Uh, subscribe to this channel, like this video, share if you want, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.